Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be trying some new meals from Fit Life Foods. The meals I'm going to be trying are from their fall menu. If you wanna know more about Fit Life Foods, I have a whole video about what they provide and what they're all about in the description box down below. But just to summarize it, they are a home delivery meal company or you can go to their on-site locations and they provide fresh prepped meals that you can just stick in the microwave for two minutes and bam. There you go. You have a very good, nice meal. And I can't wait to try some of their new fall menu items. Before we get into this video, check the description box down below. The first link will take you to Fit Life Foods website, and the second one will take you to the menu so you can see all of the options they have to offer. As you guys know, I'm a very picky eater, so this is very big for me to do to kind of like step out of my comfort zone, but I did. So I guess let's go ahead and get on into my first impression slash reaction of the meals. Okay, so the first meal, as you guys probably have guessed, I'm trying the pot roast. So it's the classic pot roast. Um, it looks like it has potatoes, pot roast, carrots, and green beans with some onion. Guys, I'm a super picky eater, but I really wanted to try these. Normally, I typically eat the lower carb meals, but I just wanted to give these a try because I love fall and I love pretty much all fall food, especially the sweets. So I can't wait to try the French toast they sent. Mmm. That's good. Mm. Okay, that's good. Whatever this gravy sauce is, it's not too strong, but it still has flavor. I think I was kind of nervous that the sauce here wouldn't have as much flavor, but it definitely has flavor. I'm pleasantly surprised, wow. Obviously, if you like don't eat meat, I wouldn't recommend this one, but if you do, it's really good. I'm actually trying this meal here because my mom's working, so I didn't want to be talking while she was on the phone. Okay, this is really good. I really like it. The meat is not too chewy. You know how some meat is like really chewy? It's not chewy at all. The best way I can put it is like very smooth. And the gravy is like, it tastes like typical Thanksgiving. <laughs> Now I'm gonna try the potatoes. They'll probably just taste like normal potatoes, I'm assuming. They have a slight seasoning, but it's not too strong. Okay, so I'm not a big fan of the onion, but that's just because in general, I don't like onion. It's nothing like to do with anything, but just like my taste. <laughs> so the potatoes are really good. Yeah, it was the onion I was tasting. Okay, now I'm gonna try the green beans. It looks like they're covered in a lot of the onion, which I'm not a fan of, but again, that's just a personal preference. The green beans though are super fresh. I don't know if you can hear me chewing, but they're nice and crispy. So you can tell wherever they source their green beans from, very fresh. So overall, I think I would rate this meal probably an eight out of 10, just because I typically like to do lower carbs and this one is 24 grams of carbs, which that's totally fine. If you can see, like there's all of the information on this little label here and the onions. <laughs> I'm just not a fan of onions. Other than that, the sauce tastes so good. They give you a lot of like generous portions. This is the medium size. A plus for this. I really like it. Thumbs up. On to what I eat tomorrow. Hi guys, welcome to day two. Today I am trying the apricot, that's how I think you say it. I think you say it apricot, apricot, I don't really know, glazed chicken. And this is what it looks like. It has all of the fall colors. I believe the ricey stuff, um, that is quinoa. We have the chicken and then we have, it looks like some potatoes with carrots and stuff. It does look like there's onion, which as you guys know, I don't really like onion. So I'm just gonna like not eat that part. You also have this sauce. It looks like it's supposed to go on the chicken. So I'll just like dip the chicken in to try it. Cause I don't know if I'll like it. And if I don't like it, I don't want the entire chicken to be covered in it. So I'm just gonna try this. Let's see, this is a carrot. <laughs> I don't know. I don't like to like mix my whole food. That's what Sherry likes to do. I like to eat things like individually as they come. Maybe these are sweet potatoes. Mmm. Very flavorful. It's still really hot. 
Overall, I really like it. Whatever seasoning they put on this stuff, and I think they put it on the other meal I had, at least on the potatoes, it's really good. It's not too strong. If it was too strong, I wouldn't like it because I don't really like strong stuff. This is a normal potato. Mm. I didn't know if I was gonna like that part just because it looks like a lot of stuff mixed together. They all have a slightly different taste, obviously because they're different foods. And there's not too much onion in this one. Mm. I mean, I know it's called the Thanksgiving menu. So this is gonna sound like a really dumb comment, but it's like Thanksgiving in two minutes. Now I'm going to taste the quinoa. I don't even know if I've had quinoa. I know my friend wanted to make it for me once, but we never really ended up making it. So it's some sort of grain. It smells good. So I'm hoping it won't let me down. It smells really good. Hmm. Okay. It's not bad. Like there's barely any flavor to it. It's like rice kind of. That's the best way I can put it. It's like rice, but they're not shaped like rice. That is interesting. It is a little dry, so maybe we're supposed to put this sauce on it, but I don't wanna pour it all on there and then not like it. Not bad. It's very light. And this is really good if you don't feel like cooking. <laughs> now I'm going to try the chicken. So first I'm gonna try it without the glazing. Mmm, oh my gosh. Mmm. This really does taste like Thanksgiving. I believe the part I'm eating is white meat. And I'm not a big fan of white meat, but this is not dry at all. I'm surprised. Normally white meat is very dry and I typically don't like it, but this is so, moist is the wrong word. It's not dry. That's the only th way I could put it. It's not a dry cut of meat. It's really good. Okay, I'm gonna dip this little part in the sauce. Sorry, you can't really see anything. I'm. Again, it's kind of awkward filming in my room. So I'm gonna take this and I'm gonna dip it in here. So it is like a glazing. This is what it looks like. It looks like honey. Mmm. It's very sweet. It is kind of like honey. I mean, I don't know if it actually is honey, but. It's not very strong, but it's like a nice sweet coating to the chicken. Okay, I'm just gonna dip my fork in there now and like see, try to give you a better description. Yeah, it's like a honey with a little bit of like flavoring. There's a light little sprinkle of something, but it tastes just like a sweet sauce. I think I give this one a seven out of 10. Thumbs up overall, nothing tastes disgusting. It tastes really good, really fresh. This is not dry at all, which I really appreciate considering it is white meat. In the next clip, I'm going to be trying the breakfast meal. I've never had a breakfast meal from Fit Life Foods, so I'm really excited. It's going to be the French toast. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. Onto the French toast. Okay, change of scenery. I'm finally sitting at my table. Um, my mom is at working at a theme park. So uh, I'm gonna just go ahead and dive in. This is officially called the pumpkin French toast. I'm so excited about this, but my mom makes the best homemade French toast. So I don't know. I'm a little nervous because my standards are so high. Let's go ahead and try it. Okay, so I love my bacon, super crispy. This is not the crispiest. It's just a personal preference. I'm not in general the biggest fan of bacon, but this tastes really good. The flavor of it is like spot on. On the ends, it's crispy. Also, I hope you guys appreciate that I've changed my shirt every day. I typically don't, which sounds kind of gross, but all I'm doing is sitting at my computer. I didn't want you guys to think I was dirty, so I made a point to change my shirt every day. Okay, so for the moment of truth, I'm gonna try the French toast. It smells really good, so I hope it doesn't let me down. I'm first gonna try it without the sauce. So, well, the sauce, the syrup, I don't know why I said sauce. Okay, not bad. Let me try one more little piece with all the syrup. I wish it had a little bit more cinnamon, but I think that's just because my mom like drowns ours in cinnamon. But let me put the syrup on it now. You cannot have French toast and not have syrup. I'm just gonna like pour this entire thing on. We love syrup here, okay. 
Mmm. Mmm. That's actually really good. I kind of taste the pumpkin, but it's more just like stereotypical French toast. I love that the bread is not soggy. It's a lot better with the syrup on it, guys. This was not a disappointment. Like, I'm pleasantly surprised. Again, I'm just really picky when it comes to food. So I was really nervous about like trying all of this stuff. Trust me, if anyone knows me in real life, you know. Yeah, all of this stuff I would recommend. I think my favorite meal was the pot roast. The very first meal I tried. I believe that was the pot roast. They were kind enough to give me two of those. So I didn't even know that that was gonna be my favorite. And then I think this is my second favorite. And I think the chicken was my least favorite just because I think it was the quinoa for me. It wasn't like, it was kind of plain. But overall, very happy with this. And I just wanna thank Fit Life Foods for gifting me these yummy meals. Check out their fall menu. So as you guys may have noticed, I only tried three of the meals. I loved all of them, but like I said in the previous clip, I think my favorite was the pot roast. I think that's what it was called. I actually ended up giving two of the meals to my mom and now I'm going to have her kind of talk about her feelings about the meals and what she thought of them. We're rolling, okay. Oh gosh. So I had her try, like I said before, two meals. She has her little notes here. I do, I took notes. I I had two of them. My favorite was the apple and sage turkey meatloaf. I really love that. Um, the turkey was very moist, it was very flavorful. I am a meatloaf fan anyway. Was I, it dry? It was not. It was yeah. Very, it was very moist. I remember the chicken that I had, uh -huh. it wasn't dry either and it was white meat. Yep. So I it was, was surprised. It was very moist. It had a lot of like cool stuff in it. The thing that I really liked about it too is that it had a honey balsamic glaze on it. That was the apples and sage and that was really good and had roasted broccolini. So that was really good too. The only thing I really didn't, and it wasn't that I didn't like it, it's that I'm not a fan of quinoa and yeah. it had quinoa in it and I'm trying to do low carb, so I like to choose things that are the lowest possible carbs. So that had too many carbs for me. So I probably wouldn't get it again, but I did even today think just for a minute, maybe I should get it just for the turkey and the broccolini and just toss out the quinoa and not have that. Mm -hmm. So I might do that sometime because I really, really liked it. It was very good. So that gets a big thumbs up from Sherry. The other thing I tried was the Autumn Harvest Bowl. I've had a lot of stuff in it. I mean, I had wheat berries, quinoa, kale, roasted sweet potatoes, caramelized onions, and and pumpkin seeds and goat cheese. I really, the dressing was a sweet and tangy apple cider vinegar. That was really good. I really liked the dressing. Um, again, it had quinoa in it. So it wasn't my favorite just because it bumped up the carbs in what I thought was gonna be a salad to more than what I would normally want to consume in a meal like that. But it was tasty. I really liked it. Uh, but if you're a quinoa fan, these would be perfect because they are very flavorful. The salad, the um, autumn harvest bowl, the salad part of that was really good and it was very easy because we didn't have to microwave anything. I know, I was telling them that we almost microwaved I know, I took it out and I lifted the box and I'm like, now how long am I supposed to microwave this? And then it's like, eat, eat open, cold. Eat cold, I'm like, what, eat cold? But I, I didn't really know what our autumn harvest bowl was going to be, so I didn't even realize that. Yeah. But it, it was good, it was very handy. So I would actually give them, if you like quinoa, give them both two big thumbs up if you like quinoa. If you don't like quinoa and you're going super low carb, I would give them a uh, garden harvest bowl. Eh, okay. But still the turkey meatloaf was really good. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Again, make sure to go down in the description box and check out Fit Life Foods and what they have to offer. I love Fit Life Foods. I've been eating it for quite a while now and I love it. It's so convenient, especially working at home. They have a delivery option, so it's super safe and you can just get the meals delivered right to your home. I love that about them. Question of the day, what do you prefer, sweet or salty? I am definitely more the salty type. I do love my sweets, but I would have to choose salt over sweet. So let me know down below in the comments. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up, check out Fit Life Foods, subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.